Conservative columnist George Will noted that every year tobacco kills more Americans than did World War II, more than AIDS, cocaine, heroin, alcohol, vehicular accidents, homicide, and suicide combined. Will got a true on that one. 50,000 non-smokers die each year from other people's secondhand smoke, which might explain why, according to Governor Rick Perry's pollster, of Republican primary voters in Texas Senate District 17, 71% support a statewide law to prohibit smoking in all indoor workplaces and public facilities, including offices, restaurants, and bars. 70% who share all Tea Party views support going smoke-free plus 70% of very conservative primary voters. 70% would be more likely to vote for a legislator in a GOP primary who supported a comprehensive smoke-free workplace law. And 70% of those from households who voted in two or more GOP primaries also feel that way. Texas could join states like Kansas, Nebraska, Arizona, Utah, South Dakota, tobacco-growing North Carolina, and libertarian-minded Montana. We'd be joining 29 other states and three dozen Texas cities and going smoke-free. Our coalition includes leading health and civic organizations, as well as chambers of commerce, musicians, minorities, business groups, and teachers. Plus representatives from every major faith group in Texas, representing 15 million Texans. Not to mention the leadership of the Texas Restaurant Association, who know that a statewide smoke-free law is good for business. It saves the Texas economy more than $400 million every biennium and saves the state Medicaid budget conservatively $31 million every two years. These budget savings go up in smoke without a statewide smoke-free law. Smoking may be an individual's decision, but there is also an individual right not to be harmed by the secondhand smoke of others. A smoke-free Texas saves money, saves lives. Smoke-free Texas, because everyone has the right to breathe clean air. Learn more at SmokeFreeTexas.org.